Hey there, I'm Todo and today I'm going to show you guys how to install Steadfast on Windows with Pocketmine. Alright, so first we need to download Pocketmine itself so we can have a base for it. So we're going to go to Pocketmine.net, sorry, uh, Pocketmine.net with Pocketmine.net, alright, and download Pocketmine installing manually. And now we're going to download uh, the PHP binary, of course. Well, first the uh, pocketmine.far save we're gonna open the folder and drag it into our pocketmine directory and now we're gonna download our PHP binaries for Windows of course we're gonna save them over here wait alright here now we have these two files we need to move them to our directory which is here so yes, we're gonna move them here. All right. Now that we have our binaries, we just need to start a start file, which we can make by ourselves over here. Just gonna copy this code at the moment. All right. Night new. All right. Uh, start that cmd, and then we're gonna edit this file and paste everything in here save it and then we're gonna start uh, our server for the first time English uh, yes I accept the license and for the moment I'm gonna um, skip the setup wizard but if you guys don't want to you can just make it so yes now we have a regular pocketmine server but we want to use steadfast why I don't know but let's just get to it we need to first get steadfast over here steadfast we're, we're gonna go to wait wait what no steadfast github.com hydrogen steadfast and we're gonna download everything here save it get the source file over here just the source file nothing else and then we're gonna edit again this file and we're gonna post the code that I that I will leave in the description which is this one and on the start file of course so it runs on source code because oh Yes, alright. Sorry for that, guys. I pasted it twice. Alright. And now we're gonna run it. As you can see, we're running, we're officially running Steadfast version 1.12.0. So, yes. Now we're gonna install DevTools in order to make our Steadfast.far, which will run our, f fi our, well, our server, of course. We can actually run it like this, but it's better that we make a far file. So yes, we're gonna start with it. We're gonna go to github.com and search here for pocket mine dev tools. I will leave in the links in the description. We're gonna go to releases and then we're gonna go to next because we want the version 12 1.12.1 and we're gonna download the source so it's easier to change the API versions because right now it was for alpha alpha 1.5 well 3.0.0 alpha 1.6 or whatever that is all right and and we're gonna change the version oh wait nope wrong folder let's open the folder all right we're gonna change the AP version over here we're gonna change it to AP 1.12.0 which is the AP that runs our server you can see you can see it here and we're gonna save it yes we want to save it and now we're gonna we're gonna actually wanna convert this this folder we're gonna extract it here we're gonna wanna convert 
all these files into a far file so yes we're gonna add it oh wait we actually need to add it to uh, all right nope actually not all right we need to man add to archive uh, we want it in a zip in a zip file so we can go to farser eu and convert this file on a far file so we can run it on our actual server right now and we're gonna move this to plugins now we're gonna restart our server by closing it for example and we can see that we've got tap tools installed and now to make our fire we just need to type make server and now we're it's making our own server all right this will just make a a steadfast.far file so we can use it in other servers also so yes now it's compressing everything as you can see over here oh yes sorry for that it's compressing everything on the fire file and this will take quite a while I mean last time it took about two minutes or so so yes I'll be back in some minutes when this is finished alright guys so it took me about five minutes or six to complete the installation well the the server and now we should have over here devtools our steadfast.far now we're gonna change its name to steadfast2.far and well now we have our our version of steadfast that we're gonna install here by just copying this, co this code above that I will uh, leave on the comments as always actually in the description sorry uh, so yes we're gonna remove everything here copy this and alright we're gonna save this and we're gonna move this into here and now we're using this dot far to run our steadfast server so yes guys this will be it for today if you need any help with this or have any other questions that 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 i haven't explained in this video please contact me by discord it's on the description um if you have any other video ideas then you can also tell me by discord uh, and you will uh you will probably see some videos about making plugins with this software because it's really interesting i'll also explain a bit its features and why it's a good software compared to others and yes until the next video from